Hey guys, it's Sarah from SlimDownSarah.com. Not here with a Hassle House family vlog simply because my family is not here today. Uh, I like to film on Tuesdays and the boys went to their day's house for a week. My husband has jury duty and even Pepper left. So it's just Penny and Hattie and me. And I'm here to update y'all on a question that I keep getting asked and it is boobs and tummy tuck. What am I doing uh, about that whole situation and what did I decide on? Cause if you would remember back about, I'd say a little over a month ago, I went to a plastic surgeon about getting a breast revision and possibly a tummy tuck and just some information and then I went on Facebook Live and explained everything to everyone that was watching and I kind of left y'all on a cliffhanger and everyone's like, whoa, so what are you doing? It's almost the 29th, what is going on? And let's quick rewind it for a little um, background on why I wanna do this, because uh, a lot of people might just be tuning in and you're probably like, why is she wearing a bathing suit top and what is going on? So back in 2012, maybe even late 2011, I decided that I was done having children after I had my two boys and I was very flat chested. I was probably only an A cup. If you look at some of my very first videos on YouTube, you can actually see that I was very flat chested. Um, and especially after nursing two children's and two pregnant, or two children's, <laughs> two kids and uh, two pregnancies, I just, anything that I did have was then deflated. So I decided um, to become a Beachbody coach. I made some extra income and I was loving life and I said, now is the time. So I went and I had a boob job. I went with 400 cc's to possibly bring me up to a full D cup. And I did silicone gel, which was supposed to not ripple. And it was pretty much a basic in and out surgery. Um, unfortunately, I really don't have any like comparison before and after uh, photos, but if you look at like some of my very first videos, mm -hmm. like I just said, and maybe like a couple months after, you can definitely see um, there is boobs where there wasn't. Everything was going great, and then about, I'd say three to four months later, I noticed that the one breast was just not dropping, and the one was like perfect and then the other one was just kind of like high up here and the other one was like hey what's up i'm the perfect one and this one's like hey i can't catch up so i went back to my plastic surgeon and i kind of expressed my concerns and he was just like oh I'll just give it more time it'll catch up and it never did um my chest cavity actually sinks in more than the average person's i was just born that way there's nothing nothing wrong with me it's just that is something unique about me. So he kind of blamed it on that. As well as, since my rib bone kind of sticks out right here, he said that my, um, what is it called? Let me think. Dee, 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 dee. My scar tissue was actually wrapping around my ribs and kind of keeping this boob hung up. So he said, let me go in there and try to just revise this one boob and you'll get the results results you're looking for. So probably about six to seven months later, I went in for my second surgery just on the right boob. And okay, so then I went in for my second surgery and everything seemed to have been going perfect. And I actually ended up moving to Ohio. So I never really was able to go up for follow-up appointments, but as far as I could see, everything was healing fine until um, I started back doing my workouts again, pretty much. I started doing Insanity again, I started doing Turbo Fire, and I was probably about 150, 160, and I probably got down to like 140, and then I noticed like the rippling started to happen. I couldn't really do anything about it just because um, I'm in Ohio now, I'm not going back to Pennsylvania. Sorry, Hattie's in the background making all the noise she possibly could to make this video harder to film. But besides the point, um, I was just basically stuck and I was like, all right, whatever. Well, one day I'll probably have one more baby, so I'm just gonna hold up. Fast forward a little bit, I had Hattie and now this is what I'm left with, with after nursing. Um, this is my good boob, this is my bad boob. You're looking at them, you're like, oh, well, what's wrong with them? And there's actually a lot with them, and this is pretty much all I'm going to show you because, you know, I am trying to be naked. Um, but this is something that you guys have never really seen before just because, you know, I am embarrassed 
this is not what I wanted to have. And this is the possibility of when you have surgery, of you, you get a botched job sometimes. Um, so this is my perfect boob. This one fell naturally. This one looks great. And as you can see, this is my botched boob. Here's all the rippling. I no longer have sensation here anymore. I cannot feel this at all anymore. Um, when the doctor went in, he actually made the pocket all messed up. He, it's just like he just messed me up because he was mad he had to go on, uh, go in and do it again. Um, and this is going to be totally disgusting. I'm just letting people know this because this is what can happen to you if you get a botched boob job. So when I go like this and I flex my muscles, like you can see, ew, isn't this so disgusting? But kind of just on this side. This one just, is, it's just so ugly and I'm so ashamed of it and I'm so embarrassed. And would I go back and do surgery again? Absolutely, but I would do more research. I was just so excited about getting a boob job. I did like three doctor checkup and backgrounds and he is a board certified plastic surgeon, but I just feel like maybe me and him just weren't on the same page. I don't know why he thinks that this is acceptable. The doctor that I went Yay. to see was in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. His name is Dr. Herman. I have tried to contact him after I had Hattie to let him know that I'm still unhappy with my results and he doesn't want to call me back or anything. So don't go to him. I am very unhappy with his results. Doesn't mean that you'll get the same results, but I'm just sharing my story. So there's all the gross stuff about my Frankenboob is what I like to call it. And so I went around Ohio searching for new plastic surgeons and I finally found a couple after getting a few um, recommendations on what I could do. I went to a couple doctors that saying that I should get some type of netting and then I found a doctor and he said that he would love to fix this and that the only way to fix it was to do a fat transfer. So he said, well, why don't we look for fat on your body? And he said that my legs were the best part because that's where the most fat was because nobody wants to get fat taken off their booty. Um, and I said, well, what about my abdomen? And he said, Sarah, you just have excess skin. You know, if I try to even suck any fat out of there, you're going to have even more excess skin. So he's like, you don't have any there to even get. Let's go straight for your legs and they'll just be like possibly a size um, smaller. So I was like, okay, so that already means I have to get a boob job, a fat transfer, and that means liposuction. Nothing I really ever considered, but hey, if that's what's going to fix it, let's do it. So he was basically going to liposuction fat that's around my um, lower buttock area, and he was going to, I guess, process the fat to get true fat, and then transfer it in here so it would hide the rippling. He was also going to transfer some over here to make this, like, deep sunken in not really abnormality but just different i don't even know what to call it he was just going to be, make it more aesthetically pleasing and, and more beautiful if you will say that you know not that it's not beautiful but you know just make it a little more pleasing to the eyes um, so he was going to also do that. So when I was there, I was like, well, hey, you know, since I'm going under for all of this stuff, my mind will just talk about the tummy tuck. Okay, so the tummy tuck he was going to do was actually not a full tummy tuck because he said, I don't have enough excess skin and enough fat to, I don't even know why I'm saying fat. I don't have enough fat and excess skin to do a full tummy tuck. So let me show you what he was going to do. So here's my stomach, here is it like all the time. This is what it looks like, bent over, blah, blah, blah. There is nothing that I can do. There's no creams, no lotions, no nothing that I could do to get rid of the stretch marks. Um, but this is what I don't like, just this excess skin that no matter how much weight I lose, this, I'm never gonna get rid of this. This is there to stay because it has been stretched out three times. So what he was going to do is he was going to keep my belly button. So he was going to cut right through my tattoo. He was going to pull this skin down and pull it down here. So basically everything was just going to get pulled down so then it would look like this. I mean, obviously it would look better than what I'm showing you, but you know, that's the basic gist of what I was going to get done as far as a tummy tuck. Um, so yeah. So those three procedures, only really wanted one of the procedures, but I can't actually do 
the breast revision until I get the fat transfer because I need that fat to go in my boob to cover up the ripple. He was also going to give me a lift in this one, which I was kind of unsure about because I don't, I really like this boob and the natural way that it hangs. It's just all about my Franken boob and how it's just all messed up and how I just wanted to fix that one. Um, so anyways, am I going to go forward with it is what everyone's asking. And yes, I have decided to do all three procedures. Um, as far as recovery, what I plan to do is I am going to go straight from the surgery facility after my surgery and go straight to a hotel and have 24 hour nurse care for up to three days. And then I was probably just going to stay in the hotel by myself for like an additional three to four days just to recover so I didn't have like kids hanging on me, dogs jumping on me. Um, you know, just so I could literally take my pain medication, take my antibiotics, take whatever I need to take and just sleep, like let my body heal. Mm. The plastic surgeon did say that I would have, um, a pretty good recovery considering I am so fit and I am so healthy. It would be easier for me to recover versus someone who was, you know, out of shape, maybe a little bit overweight and isn't as active as me. Uh, but that is no guarantee. Also, every case is different. He was just kind of going based on, you know, the surgeries he has done before. Um, as far as when I'm getting it, I did schedule it for June 29th. However, I think I was just a little too excited. Um, and I decided to not get it done in the summertime simply because I don't want to be in a hotel room for one to two weeks recovering and then... I still can't fly anywhere. I can't drive for, I think he said like up to three weeks um, because I'll be all wrapped up after my liposuction on my legs. Um, I'll have to hunch over due to my tummy tuck. You won't be able to stand up straight. Just the recovery seems like it was going to be very extensive and I don't think, I don't, like I don't want to do that in the summertime. I don't want to be all wrapped up in bandages and recovering when it's hot and when I want to run around with my kids and go to pools and sprinklers and drinking beer. Like I don't want to do that in the summertime. I think I was just a little too excited. So when will I get it? Okay. When will I, I will get my tummy tuck? Usually the last two times I've gotten my surgery was roughly around Christmas time because I mean, you're all like covered up in clothes and you know, nothing's really going on around Christmas except literally Christmas where you get together with family and stuff. So I figured that might be the best time to do it. Um, I made this choice not for anyone else. So I don't want to hear any hate or anybody saying that I don't need a tummy tuck or that's what you get for getting a, a botch boob job or, you know, like this is just life. You can't guarantee anything is going to be perfect in life. You kind of just have to make your own choices and learn from your own mistakes. I was really concerned that I'm going to get a lot of hurtful things, people saying stuff, making fun of my boobs or whatever, but I just want to show a lot of people that things always don't turn out the way you want them to turn out. And um, if if you saw my boobs without the bikini top on, granted there's really not padding in this, you it looks a lot worse. Like this boob is natural looking and this boob is like all up here and ripply and it just, it really does look bad and it really makes me insecure because as a woman you want to be able to just wear like normal v-neck shirts or you know just normal scoop neck shirts and everything that I wear. If you notice, if you look through my vlogs, if you look through my pictures, I always cover this boob up and I always angle this way or somehow hide this boob ripple because I'm so insecure and embarrassed about it. Anyways, I don't want to get into it because it really does deeply bother me. I just really wanted to share my story and update everyone on um, what I'll be doing about the tummy tuck and the breast revision and all of that and why I'm getting all of this plastic surgery done. And it really is just to, it's just for me. It's not for anyone else. So if you don't like it, well then don't look at it. Like it's just that simple. Um, I, when I do move forward with it, I will keep everyone updated and, um, don't even try to ask me about price because you have to remember I'm in Ohio and if we, if and when we do move and I pick a different plastic surgeon, um, it'll be a different cost. So it's different costs everywhere. Um, so 
I just want to get that out there. And I also wanted to say that I'm not 100% sold on my plastic surgeon. I would like to get one or two more um, opinions just because I've gotten so many different opinions so far. I just don't feel like I've found the right plastic surgeon just yet. You have to really be comfortable with slice and dice in your body and um, who's actually going to do that. So make sure you do your research. Anyways, um, thank you guys all for watching and I'm excited to share this journey with you and I will definitely keep you posted on that and I'm sorry that this wasn't a house, uh, a house of hassle up, uh, episode but I just wanted to get this out there since I keep getting a lot of questions about it and thank you for watching again and I will see you guys next week. Bye!